Quiet tonight. Just reading about jewelry making. How did things work out with Mother's friend? Not good. He can't help me out. You sound serious. Have you ever been into a detention center? What? Like jail? No, I mean for immigrants. I'm a refugee, man. You know that. I know, but doesn't that work the same? No. I got so so lucky. How did it happen for you? I have a decent cousin out in Newark who sponsored me. But he kicked me out after the resettlement money ran out. Luckily, a friend of his got me this job. I moved in with you two hopeless romantics. Now, I'm living the dream. Sorry about your cousin. It doesn't matter. I'm bulletproof. Sure. Superman! I ran away from the army. In Eritrea, it is just like slavery. After I escaped Sawa into Sudan, I made it to all the way to Tunis, on luck and odd jobs. Then I work in the docks to make enough money to give to a snakehead who put 50 of us on a crap boat can maybe hold 20. But at least we made it to Italy. What happened then? I snuck around Italy for a while, but there aren't many jobs there either. Uh, finally, I found out about my cousin. I applied for asylum, and now I'm here. See, I made it from halfway across the damn world without a scratch. I am Superman. If you're Superman, what's your kryptonite? Because you know every superhero has a weakness. Bots and Ethiopian women. I'm never getting near either one, ever. Why do you want to know about detention centers? Look, my break's over. I gotta go. What's got to him? I don't know. Ask him. You think he talks to me? Hey, did you see Mother tonight? <laughs> she looks fine, but not at you. How can you drink that? I don't want to fall asleep on the train. You can always sleep with us. You know, on the couch. <laughs> no, thank you. I have some idea what your apartment looks like. We don't all live like ugly here. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe another time. Good night, boys. Good night. Try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> what? Turn off the light or go to the kitchen. I should turn all the lights on. She knew what I meant, eh? Don't you know how that it feels for her? I know how she looks at you. You're just trying to make problems. There are no problems, only challenges. Just go to bed. Turn off the light! Both of you, shut up! Ooh, daddy's going to spank us. <laughs>
You've got to get more sleep. What are you doing up so early? I have a job interview. <clears throat> oh, guess you make a good Clark Kent. What's the job? Working in the doctor's office, answering the phone, filing paperwork. But you make good tips though. On the weekends? But I can't deal with the hit or miss anymore. I need something more stable. Plus, I can't go to school if I'm working all night. You going to school too? Part time, at least that's the plan. Congratulations. Hey, you can have my old job. <laughs> it's going to be way better money than you're making now. Do they pay on the books? Yes. But it's still better than what you're doing now. Working in the kitchen is terrible. Look, maybe. But just stop being... Why are you so cheerful in the morning? <laughs> Did you cut yourself? It's fine. You should put some antibiotic on that. You don't want it getting infected. The wheat is fine. If you're going to wake me up, at least make it worth it. Use a drill. I don't have one. Then buy one. Buy. I don't have any money left at the end of this month. When are you going to stop sending money back home? When are you going to stop being this nosy? Listen, I'm just trying to save you here from your misery. huh? You need to hold back a little for things like this. I can't right now. Why not? Because I can't. This can wait. Where is your idiot friend? He couldn't make it. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get this thing done now? What the fuck, man? Good morning, Mr. Kai. I told you, you, I couldn't sell your stuff. No, no, I'm not here about that. Uh, look, I need a job. Can you give me a job? Look, it looks like you need help. You're strong enough to haul boxes up the stairs? Yeah. Your driver's license? Yeah. Fine, pay us 10 an hour cash. You don't show, you don't get paid. Okay. Can you start now? Oh, yeah. Well, then don't fucking stand there. Okay. Uh, you know, the sense of uh, not belonging also stems from uh, carrying a, vi a, a, a passport with a visa stamp that always comes with an, uh, some sort of uh, expiration date. And, um, and, but, you know, life goes on when you are in one place. So you come here, you study or you're working, uh, you also fall in love, you, you might form a family. Um, uh, so these things through which we belong to any place, those things happen and you cannot put a check on them because there is an expiration date on your visa. So I wish the immigration uh, policies were such that, that uh, you know, we wouldn't be controlled by these, um, by these uh, end dates. Uh, we are not batches of medicine uh, that needs to expire at a certain point. And, uh, you know, uh, we, are, we are people. I mean, I at least have it much better than uh, the refugees stuck at the border. So we all might be in some sort of exilic state, like we are exiles on some level, uh, but, but there are, it's, it's not a homogenous category. So this, uh, so immigration policy cannot be, uh, you know, framed towards a very homogenous uh, group of people. We are all very different. And I think that, difference should be part of that conversation as well.